Hey everybody, what's going on here? It's uh, Strasbourg Steve here, and um, <laughs> Newcastle have made a signing. That's great, but we've signed Santiago Munoz. Yeah, so I actually did not know this whole um, deal with with this Santiago Munoz and why it was um, why it was such a big deal. But apparently, so in the movie, there's this movie called Goal, 2005 movie. I just looked it up. So apparently, on this Goal movie, the main character is from Los Angeles, or um, he's from Los Angeles, or he lives there. What's going on? Keeping it tuned, YT. How are you, man? If you want to join the uh, stream, feel free, uh, feel free to, by the way. But... Um, Anyways, so uh, back to this whole plot of so in the in the movie Goal, a dream begins. So apparently, in the movie, this this guy who works as a plumber or a mechanic or something like that, he he has connections with Newcastle still, and he notices this guy named Santiago Munoz, and he's a very good, you know, footballer, and so they get him on trial to Newcastle, and you know, so. Apparently, Mike Ashley, as a PR stunt, I think, he signed a Mexican who was, who was born in the USA named Santiago Munoz, and he's going to play at the U23s. What the fuck are you? What, what is going on? What is going on? So, <laughs> I get this straight. You think that you think signing a fucking player that was part of this movie that was released 16 years ago is going to help out our fucking squad? Do you really, really think that? This is a fucking PR stunt, and this is ridiculous. I mean, nothing against Santiago. Um, I've heard good things about him, and I've also heard some Mexican fans, which we will, you know, we'll be reviewing. We'll see. We'll see what they think about it and what Newcastle fans think about it, because I'm not too familiar with him, but... Um, I probably have caught a game or two of his, but I just haven't ever like noticed, I suppose. But, um, yeah, so we'll get some, we'll get some reaction, but first let's, uh, let's just dive into what, to see what he's done to deserve this move. And if it's actually a deserved move in my opinion. So his name is Santiago Rene, uh, Rene Munoz Robles. Born August 14th, 2002 in Texas. He's uh, 19 years old. He's a center forward striker, whatever you want to call it. Um, and he's on loan right now for about a million, million, million bucks. Not bad. Um, and in Liga MX, he scored three goals. And are those assists, I believe? Three goals and three assists and uh, 13 appearances. And about, you know, his average, it averages about 308 uh, minutes. Um, that's some decent numbers, you know. And he also was with the Mexico, he was confirmed, let's see. He was, he, he was with the Mexico, he was at the Olympics, I believe, with Mexico, with the U23. So let me check that out and what they've done. So what do we got here? Center forward, Jose Messias. Or maybe he wasn't. I don't know. I mean, I swear to God. Let's go U23. So he's not among their national friendlies. I swear he was at the Olympics in Tokyo. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But anyway, so, I mean, uh, uh, you know, he's 19, striker, all right. Yeah, but the... the it's nothing outstanding. Um, and especially, we're going to check out some very, very delusional and nonsensical uh, takes from uh, some of these Newcastle fans. Or not Newcastle fans. Some of these Mexico fans are saying the most hilariously stupid things about this. Um. Let's see here. Let's go. So yeah, that's the official. This is the official transfer confirmed by uh, Newcastle. Welcome. 
dream begins. Newcastle United completed the signing of 19-year-old striker Santiago Munoz. Welcome, Santi. Um, and I and, and this was the first thing that I saw on here. And this this pretty much says it all how Americans get to Europe. We've evaluated the high potential young player for MLS, who I can believe. All right, let's bring him in. How Mexicans get to Europe. <laughs> this guy's the same name. <laughs> the guy is cool. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, this is the this is the delusional stuff I'm talking about right here. Pool of shit. Pulisic. Nordest did nothing but live in Europe. That's why they are there. Um, I I really don't know how you can honest to God look yourself in the face and try to claim that uh, Pulisic and uh, Dest. Well, first off, this isn't even true. Uh, Pulisic actually was born in uh, Pennsylvania, in Chester, I believe, and then he stepped up. He got he got a move to the academy, uh, Borussia Dortmund's academy, a few years ago as a youngster. So clearly, this is this is false. He actually was um, he, he he didn't really live in Europe before he got a move to Europe. And Serginho Dest is yes, he is you know I believe he was born here in the U.S. and then moved to Amsterdam, or he was or maybe the uh, you know the Netherlands. But um, yeah, uh, I, I I just I don't know. I just think this kind of stuff is ridiculous. These claims that Dest. I mean, Dest is. Listen, IX is an outstanding academy, and they don't play you if you're not a good player. They'll give you a shot. They'll give you a shot, but you have to have something about you. Dest is not a bad player. So. But um yeah, and as um as keeping it uh keeping it to YT points out, it it isn't a permanent deal, it's a loan. So I don't really understand what's going on with that. But um I'm not crazy about this move. It's not like it's a bad, it's not a bad move. I just think there's so much there there I, I, yeah, as well, anyways, let me get to back, back to the point I was about to make. The fact that Dest was born in the Netherlands and he lives in Europe and that's the only reason why they're there and he just happens to also be American, that's not true. And I, I just think it's, I, 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 again, I don't think that this Munoz guy, you know, I don't trust our scouting at all. I don't trust our whole club, Ashley, Bruce, Charlie. All of them can fucking piss off. Honest to God, I hate them. They're ruining this. They're ruining this club, and it's ultimately going to end in relegation, in my opinion, or at least a really, really fucking tremendously awful season. Um, yeah, and as as he points out, didn't know Hershey, Pennsylvania was in Europe, but I guess you learn something new every day. And then this 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 uh, Mexican fan, I'm assuming. Wasn't made domestically, man. Played abroad for the most part. Well, guess what? He was born in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And you're claiming, you're claiming that Pulisic and that Pulisic did nothing but live in Europe. So he actually was, um, yeah. That's some funny shit. Shout out USMNT kid. Definitely follow him. Good guy. Let's look at some other comments. Um. This is a, I'm, I'm assuming this is a Newcastle fan. PR stunt to distract supporters and the media away from the disastrous transfer window. 100% retweet that. That's some real, that's some good stuff. Remember Keegan's employment tribunal in 2009 found New, Newcastle United FC guilty of repeatedly and intentionally misleading the press, public, and fans in Newcastle United. Nothing's changed. And then this, this, this guy, Chris Waugh. The general nature of, of Newcastle's uh, window in general will be very much covered in 18 month long for a U23 player doesn't change any of that. That's the other problem I have with this transfer. Not only is it just trying to appease fans and, you know, like, like 
it's not nepotism, but it's definitely you're just trying to play. You're just you're just trying to you're just trying to get the fans excited about something and be like, oh, we we signed, you know, we signed a really we signed a promising player, and amazingly, you know, he's also the guy from that movie. Ooh, yeah, trying to get fans excited about something which is fucking trivial at the end of the day. I don't care that the fact this Santiago Munez guy you know was in a movie or whatever it, that's nonsense i want i want good players at the club and it's cool that we have a young player but the problem is the problem is right now our transfer window is fucking dreadful because um we signed a backup striker but he's going straight to the u23s so we need for, we need help with the first we need help desperately with the first team the first team needs a striker and Callum Wilson is apparently going to be injured for two to three weeks. And the other problem with this is that our backup strikers, we don't have any. We don't have any. Dwight Gale is not a, he's not a, he's not a good striker, man. He He's okay. He's okay. But he's not going to bang in goals like Callum Wilson does. He doesn't have that ability. He doesn't have that about him. Our game plan is way too fucking easy for everyone to figure out within the first 10 minutes of a fucking game. Give it to ASM. That's it. And we'll see who else on the field will be able to score a goal or create anything. That's our fucking game plan from Steve Bruce. Five at the back, non-existent midfield, and ASM. And then we'll throw on Joe Ellington or Dwight Gale, and maybe they'll score. I don't know. But the problem is, once you shut down Alan St. Maximan, or if he has an off game, or if he's injured, we're fucked. We're absolutely fucked. There's no creativity in this team. Jacob Murphy comes second, but we can't rely on him because he isn't as good as ASM, and he he gets played as a fucking right wing back. That's fucking ridiculous. I mean, I like Ryan Frazier and all that, but he has he he again he has injury problems. He has he has fitness issues. Um. But I'll touch on I'll touch on this comment here from Keeping It Tune YT. I was being too generous when I said we would finish 18th. I now think 20th now if no one is coming in, uh, and um, in as we as only got we only have we only uh, we only got a few hours to go to the window. So that's exactly man, exactly. We are being we are easily the least ambitious club in the Premier League at least. We are we are in an absolutely fucking pathetic state, and the fact that we got a, um, a 19-year-old striker for the U23s is like having a broken leg, but you have a cut on your leg and you put a bandaid over it, but you do nothing about your broken leg. You kind of need to address the more um, the, the the more important issue at play because. That's great. I like the youth development, but we need answers and we need players right fucking now, like right now for the first team to survive in the Premier League somehow, some way. I don't see us going for four or five fucking players today to save our season. And the fact and that is fucking pathetic. That's fucking pathetic. And it's all because of Bruce and Charlie and all these fucking idiots that are involved with our club. Because it is, it's fucking, it's disgusting. It's disgusting how we as fans are being treated like, like not even like we're like we're customers. And the and the greatest part is is that the 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 fucking product that they're that they're uh, presenting to us is fucking trash on the field, and the manager is fucking trash. And I'm gonna add my boy Ryan into this stream. What's hey. going on, Ryan? I gotta Swing. put up. I gotta put up. I got this. Yeah. Bruce out. He's a fat fuck bacon clown. Yep, that's the way it is, man. So yeah. Um, what do you think of this? What do you think of this signing? What do you think of this Santiago Munoz signing? I am. It's not pleasing. Doesn't please anyone. Because all it is is just Rodrigo Vilca signing, but with a nostalgic name around it. Yes, that's all I see it as. 
I mean, the guy comes from Mexico. Yeah, he could have a bit of talent. No, my thing is, I don't even know who he is. So, who knows if he'll even come good or not. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, I just, I, I, again, we have a, we, our, our squad is like a broken fucking leg. You need to fix that shit and fix it now before you start to walk. And the fact that you're signing a fucking 19-year-old striker for the U23s is like your other leg having a cut on it that's that's like a paper cut or something and putting a fucking Band-Aid over it. You're not addressing the main fucking problem at this club. And that's with the fucking first team because we're fucking terrible. And Bruce is a fat fuck bacon clown of a fucking manager and he's stupid. And he's incompetent and he's tactically inept and our roster is fucking weak. So, I don't really understand why, why, uh, well, no, I do understand. It's a, it's a PR stunt and I don't want the guy to fail, but I just, it's not necessary. It's completely unnecessary. And it really pisses me off. All right, I'm back. I'm just out of food truck right now, so I have to get my food. Yeah. No, but. Can I switch my camera on this? What's good, man? I said, I wonder if I could do the reverse camera. This is my I got. Oh, nice, nice. Eat up. Eat up. Yeah, man. Like, I, I got no faith now in this, uh, this freaking... I don't know. I still... It's gonna be hard, like... Mm-hmm. This is, like, this is... This is surprising my minority of fans. It's what? I said this is a kind of thing that will... That will be... That will, um... Now get like a minority of fans happy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a like very few. The most most of the most of the fans I I you know that I have seen they're they're not very impressed at all, and it's a fucking it's a pathetic move. It's just it's 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 literally just like yeah, we can't sign anyone, so we'll get this guy because we made a film off of him. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all I see it as. And and that sucks because this Santiago Munez guy, may, maybe he's fucking amazing. I don't really know. I need to watch more Liga MX for this very fucking reason because I hate not being educated about it. But he's yeah. got 13 goals. He has 13 appearances, three goals, three assists. And then you have fucking idiots on Twitter trying to proclaim that he is better than Pulisic shit and uh, Reyna. And all this fucking horse shit. Come on. It's we unbelievable. We don't know anything about this guy. Huh? We don't even know anything about this guy. That's the, uh, that, that's the other thing, too. You cannot... You th That's the thing with Prospect, man. You have to have a body of work and you have to be a consistent performer. And he has 13 professional appearances to his name and then Mexico U23s, U17s, etc. That's not enough to, pro pro to, pro to to actually try to get an agenda out there that he's somehow better than fuck. He's always better than pool of shit and Reyna. I mean, what a fucking clown. <laughs> and, and that's the other, that's the other, that that's the good? other. What? If he was that good, he would have joined Dortmund. Yeah, no shit. Instead of coming high, to fucking, high, yeah. Highly rated players that come from North America and South America, they all go to like Germany and Netherlands first. Yep. Like a step up. The proper, the 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 best. What? There's no point of either because Steve Bruce won't even play this guy. Exactly. That's the other thing I was trying. That's the other. I I. You're you're so right, man. You're so fucking right. Because when has that's the other thing why I don't like this transfer. When has Bruce given any young player a fucking chance, a consistent run of fucking games? His way of giving people chances is giving ten minutes to Elliot Anderson against Arsenal. Yeah, and that wasn't that was that I think that was the FA Cup game, right? Yeah, the game we should have won, but yeah, because Andy Carroll was actually decent that day. That day, like Arsenal is still a wounded animal to this day, and we don't yep. take. Yep. No, that's that's what I'm saying, man. Like Bruce isn't gonna fucking play this guy. So even if he is hot shit and he's like ripping apart the, you know, ripping it up, ripping it up for the Newcastle U23s, it doesn't really fucking matter because Bruce is just going to be like, eh, 
Okay, I'll give him I'll give him a game, like you know, give him 10, 20 minutes in an FA Cup game. That's it. Cause he doesn't use he doesn't use fucking Jamal Lewis. Longstaff is that uh Maddie Long is it Maddie or Long or is it Maddie Longstaff or Sean that's out on loan at Aberdeen? Excuse me. Yeah, it's Matt. It's Matt Longstaff. So, not really, not not really adding up for me. Not this transfer is not really adding up for me. It's a million dollars that isn't going to help our fucking team this season. Almost guaranteed. I hope I'm fucking wrong, but under Bruce, I can't have any belief. Only anger and fucking bitterness. It's a I mean, fucking joke. It really is. What I'm going to try to do again, like I did last, this past summer, is forget all about Newcastle and focus on international stuff. Like, I mean, obviously, yeah. the Euros in Copa America are big, but, like, it's going to be big for me now as Canada goes against Honduras in a few days. So, awesome. Yeah. And I can actually probably look forward to some decent football to watch. That's the other thing, man. Like, I love Newcastle, but like, I'm, I'm not. Uh, 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 it's just fucking. It's, it's infuriating to be a fan of Newcastle. I love, I love the club, ASM, and you know, there's some good things. But Jesus fucking Christ, this god awful manager and this fucking pathetic owner who's been seen, fucking over the club for years just has to go before I can have any hope. I've supported this club for six years, and I haven't seen one good right back. Maybe DeAndre Yeslin. For a bit, but he was inconsistent. Yeah, he started to actually pick up a form. And then, oh, the tacos are amazing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think um, like he was hitting a bit of form during the Christmas break last year, and then we sell him to uh, Galatasaray. I don't yeah. know what our team was doing. Like, we have Kraft, and then. I mean, Van Keel's like all right, but like at the same time, he never he never plays. Like Steve Bruce, I'm I know. Him, same with Lewis. He doesn't trust Van Keel and Lewis. Van Keel's a better. It may, I would like he seriously, man. All of the fucking players at Newcastle are out of position. They're, Bruce is probably gonna play this fucking guy as like a center midfielder when he's a striker. I wouldn't be surprised. Because he plays at he plays Miggy out of position. He plays fucking um Jacob Murphy, Miggy yeah. Murphy, Maxwell. They all they all play out of position. That's four yeah. players out of ten outfield players. That's almost half the team. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 so infuriating. And I'm also gonna touch up on this comment from Keeping It Tune YT. Bruce walked out on Hull City when he was screwed over on transfers. I'm kind of praying he walks from us, then we can bring in a new boss and finally see some more positives. That's true. That's true. I hope that happens, but Bruce's Bruce's pro do you think that'll actually happen? No, I don't know. I think he's too stubborn to walk away. Yeah, because he thinks he can just fucking fix everything. He thinks he's amazing. And he's shit. I think that uh Oh God, Ryan has been released from the basement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Another comment, another good comment. There's, uh, there's the problem. Bruce complains about defense, how we are lacking at the back or weak at the back, and he's the one who sold Yedlin and Lejeune, and then sent out Kellen Watts, who actually was decent in the preseason, not alone, to a fucking League One team. Here's the thing with Yedlin is if Steve Bruce is gonna persist with five at the back, I think DeAndre Yedlin would act. I feel like DeAndre Yedlin's more of a better wing back than full back. The only one that fits our system is Fabian Char for me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And 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 it, it just he's actually it just because with five at the back nowadays, you always want to have that one center back that can carry the ball and launch balls forward. And he's the yeah. guy to do it. We had Lejeune as well. Because we had these guys, and Rafa Benitez knew what he was doing. We stuck yep. with us 4 3 3, or like five, whatever. Like, we had five at the back, three at the back towards the last six months of his contract. And that was the best, that was the best we've ever seen our team under Rafa because he finally got it right with all the, the lack of investment given towards him. Yeah. Yeah, it's Rafa. really. 
on Perez and Almiron, we would have been finished. Like, if yep. we had that starting 11, the next season, we would have finished top 10, probably. I'm dead ass. But then a new manager, too, because Bruce is fucking they shit. They copy and paste the same tactics, and they don't work. Yeah. So you try playing more defensive. Like, what are you doing, buddy? He's just he's a fucking god awful manager. That's that's all that's that that's all I can say about Bruce. Eddie Howe on our team. Huh? I think Eddie Howe is the most realistic we can get. Someone or like or Chris Wilder. Yeah. The thing is about Chris Wilder is I don't I feel like he'll be a guy to like not take shit for anyone. But at the same time I don't really want to see five at the back because we know our players can't do it. There's only one player that's capable of playing that system and that's char yeah yep exactly man exactly it's fucking it's it's a fucking buffoonery it's a fucking buffoon it's it really pisses me off it really 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 does yeah but whatever i guess we'll persist with this but no nah, it's just it's it's really just just pathetic how this club is run. It just pisses me off so much, man. I just don't I just don't understand like like Ugh, I don't know, man. I I I just wish that Santiago Munoz like I wish we actually bought him because he was a like an actual first team like oh, he scored 50 goals in fucking 70 games or some shit. He's a prospect and he's going to play at the U23s. That doesn't fucking help us out. That doesn't help out our fucking squad at all. If we get any transfers in, I'll be astounded. Oh, yeah. I, I highly doubt we have anyone tonight. Like, I've seen Bur I saw Bur – have you seen this yet, Ryan? Apparently Burnley, Burnley are linked with Weston McKenney. I think it's bullshit that he would actually go. I would be I would be stunned. I would eat a sock he if he went to Schalke fucking Weston McKenney. Huh? Did he still play for Schalke or did Juventus sign him? Juventus signed him, but apparently they are trying to get rid of him or something like that. I just I don't get it, dude. I really, really don't. Juventus are so dead without Ronaldo for me. That's 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 the other thing too. Yeah. No. Anyway, so that's gonna wrap it up here. I just wanted to get my quick thoughts about Munoz. Um. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a fan of it because it doesn't help us out in, in uh, in the short term. Maybe the long term, but we need short term answers right fucking now, before we get fucking relegated. Because on this, I, there's no fucking way in hell. That we are going to survive this year with our best players being injury prone players, which isn't their fault, but it is it is a hundred fucking thousand percent. It is a hundred thousand fucking percent Mike Ashley's fault and Lee Charlie and everyone at that fucking club that has anything to do with transfers, that we don't have a stronger fucking squad or at least some fucking bodies. Yeah. Because if Wilson gets injured, and he is right now, and he probably will again this year, we're fucked. ASM, same thing. I wonder if he's even out for Man United because, I mean, with or without him, we're screwed. I changed my prediction yeah. for that game. We're going to lose 9 now. That's what I'm saying, man. But anyways, we're going to wrap it up here. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Peace out. Bye. All right. Peace out, guys.